the stats every minute this way. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. So after the crypto mega dump that we saw over the weekend, um, my portfolio got hit just as many of, uh, well, everybody's portfolio probably would have got hit if you're holding, right? Um, but I want to talk about some things in this video. Well, I'm not worried at all. Okay, guys, and uh, there's actually some news that's came out, um, which is very bullish. Okay, guys, for crypto as a whole, um, Hong Kong has approved a Bitcoin, not only a Bitcoin spot ETF, but also an Ethereum ETF. Okay, guys, and, you know, obviously that's just going to bring a lot of liquidity into the market. Um, perfect time to bring it out. Okay, guys, for the simple fact that we just had a mega dump. So this is news from today. Okay, 15th of April, um, this, this article came out. Okay, guys, and ultimately what's going to happen when, you know, you know, are people going to be running out to short the market at this point after we've already seen huge red candles? Are people going to run out and sh try and short the market? All right, it's possible that we we do see a little bit more downside, but ultimately, I think that people will be laddering in uh, longs um, based on this news and based on where we're sitting at in the market right now. We are literally four days away from the bitcoin halving okay so ultimately we we always we always expected a dump before the halving um and what we expect is you know maybe some sideways action post halving before you know maybe in a few months we see you know just a crazy run in bitcoin but during this time what i expect to see is the altcoin uh the altcoin season the bitcoin dominance begins to fall and we we start to see altcoins going absolutely crazy all right, guys, um, or th that's at least, you know, what normally happens, right? So this is definitely a bullish news. Me personally, I want to look at uh, two of the projects that I think are very strong in the AI sector specifically, okay? is If you've been following the channel, you know, you know that I'm bullish on OPSEC, I'm bullish on Blender, okay, guys? So I want to look specifically at OPSEC and Blender um, and just give you my analysis based on what we see with this dip. You know, am I worried about either of these projects? Personally, no. Okay, guys. OPSEC. Um, in fact, I actually watched this dip happen. Um, I was a little bit naive. I did see other AI coins getting dumped. And I thought, obviously, the strength is going to show here. We're not going to see any dump out of OPSEC. We're not going to see a dump out of Blender. Um, or it's going to be minimal. Okay, guys. But what actually happened is it came tumbling down. And if we go on the daily chart, right? We had a huge crash, okay, guys, just across the board, right? In fact, one project did rug um, called Tensor Space. I talked about it very briefly once in a in a video about many AI projects. They actually rugged, and then um, what you saw was a lot of panic selling. But ultimately, the market was dipping throughout the weekend. Anyway, this was just the icing on the cake, uh, which, you know, took the dip to a whole nother level in some of the AI projects that we're holding. But ultimately... What it provided was a huge buying opportunity as you can see here people have been catching these wicks now in this early stage of ai the ai bull run right um i want to bring you back to 2019 2020 right let's just do a measured move so this is like a 70 80 percent dip on opsec okay guys we saw the same on blender okay guys let's just go on the daily chart all right guys so we saw um this huge 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 dip from the top okay to the bottom approximately 87 percent on blender as well with a huge week to the upside people are buying it back up because they understand that this is a quality pro or these are quality projects okay guys so going back to 2019 if you've been following the channel i said you know buying for me finding opsec for example for example is like investing in matic early in the early days they're co two completely different projects okay guys they are not the same uh matic is a layer two scaling solution for ethereum okay so it's not the same type of project okay um but i think that we're going to see a lot of these ai altcoins run like there's like their layer ones in fact opsec is a layer one uh but they are building a layer one um but yeah, if we go back, right, let's just go back, right, 
Uh, what are we on? We're on the one day chart. Okay, let's just go back. Just bring this all the way back to the beginning of its life, should we say, right? So, like I said before, it's like buying Matic early. Now, I remember when Matic had a huge, huge, huge 70% dip, right? Um, after there was a there was a bit of a hack on Matic, okay? And I'm thinking that that was this one here in December 2019, okay, guys? And what we saw was a 70 plus percent pullback on Matic, okay, guys? And then not long after that, right? Uh, we saw another 70% pullback a few months later on Matic, or it might have been a little bit more, it might have been 80%, okay, around 75, 80% approximately, right? And then we saw another one over here, which is a little bit less of a pullback, maybe about 50%, okay, guys? But why I show you that is because in these early stages, it's going to be super volatile. Matic right now is sitting at a 7 billion market cap, okay? Over here, it was in the low hundreds of millions, okay, guys? So, and, and, and you know, ultimately, what you're going to see is you're going to see these dips, you're going to see these pullbacks, especially in a bull market, right? And, you know, you might, you know, it might take a while to recover as well. But the point being is that when it's a quality project, uh, with a strong narrative, right? This was in the layer one, layer two narrative, okay? Does it solve a problem? Does it solve a solution? Well, obviously, Matic is a scaling solution for Ethereum. But even still, Matic wasn't the, you know, 7 billion market cap project it is now. And remember, that's down from the lows, right? That's, sorry, that's down from the previous highs, right? But ultimately, we saw these dips. We saw these dips. Now, you know, back then, you might have been worried. You might have been worried thinking, yo, look at this dip. This dip is crazy. You know, I need to get out. You would have been selling over here, okay? You would have had some hopium, and it would have started coming back up. You thought, oh, no, you know what? Yeah, it's, it's going to the moon, and then you get this another 75 80% dip. You know, you're thinking it's over. You're wrecked, right? You're wrecked, completely wrecked, almost back to, you know, it's, it's beginning, right? And then what do you see? You see this massive pump. To the upside okay where it just just a never-ending pump alt season comes in okay guys you go into 2021 okay guys all the way in through to 2022 uh as you can see right huge well sorry not 2022 but made by may 2021 right you know it was at all-time highs okay at 17 billion dollar market cap Okay, guys, and then after that into 2022, you see, you know, the, the, the huge pump to about a $21 billion market cap. And now, you know, we, you know, this is the bear market. Okay, guys, so why I bring that to your attention is that's exactly what I see with OPSEC. Okay, OPSEC right now is at $138 million market cap. You know, you might see this happen, right? And, and what you might see, like I said, there could be more downside. We could see a recovery and then more downside. That's what you could see in either of these tokens, these AI tokens, in this AI bull run narrative, right? You could see that. We could see multiple dips across the board. All right, guys. It's not unusual to see 70% pullback dips in altcoins, okay? Because they're extremely volatile. But it's the volatility that we're counting on, you know, because when the volatility goes to the downside, yes, it hurts. When it goes to the upside, it's beautiful. It, it feels great. Okay, guys. Just like you've seen here, this volatility. Okay, guys. This wasn't the only dip. We saw a huge dip um, in the hack. Uh, sorry, not the hack. The, it, it got fudded and it, it dipped like 56% just not too long ago as well. But what did it do? Ultimately, it recovered. Okay, guys. So we do see this dip here. Will it recover? In my opinion, yes, it will. Yes, it will. Okay, guys, if we go over to OPSEX Twitter, right, they are continually announcing partnerships, okay, they're continually adding liquidity to stabilize the price, okay, despite what's going on in the market, this is not a short-term project, I've said in one of my previous videos, I believe that OPSEC is a multi-cycle hold, okay, guys, as you can see here, just the other day, they added an extra 250000 in liquidity with a $70,000 buyback for OPSEC, uh, and so on okay guys and you can see these partnerships that they're getting right they just announced a partnership today, uh, today i believe right uh with streamer uh sorry my lighting's just gone out let's just check 
I should have really charged my uh, charged my um, uh, I should have charged my light but let's just uh, let's just switch let's just fix some lighting over here let's see uh, no dude you guys can still see me alright guys but ultimately right Okay, what's going on with my lighting? Sorry about this, guys, but uh, I do need to adjust my lighting a little bit. Always great when things don't go perfectly. But I think what we need to do is go and get the charger for this. What they say is when you prepare, if you fail to prepare, then you prepare to fail. And uh, that's basically what I've done. Let's just get this lighting back on. That should do it. Okay, let's carry on, guys. Right, so where were we? Okay, so OPSEC, they just partnered with Streamer. Okay, guys, so Streamer is a... In fact, let's just read the. Um, uh, let's just read this, okay? So we're excited to announce our partnership with Opset Cloud, true leaders in digital security and privacy. The Opset ecosystem is AI powered, privacy focused, decentralized, and so on. Okay, guys. So Streamer is, you know, if you guys remember, uh, data, data token, right? This is basically a project that's been out for a long time, and you know, it's basically fits into the data narrative, and obviously. You know, data is a huge market. Okay, guys. So this is a huge project, and you know, it's it's not a small project at all. So that's a great partnership there. Um, we also have they they did address the uh, they did address the uh, the fact that they, that they dipped. You know, but Opset wasn't the only project that dipped. Every project dipped, right? So you know, at the end of the day, the market's going to get hit. If the market is going to get hit, you know, you can't really control everything, right? But it said here, in light of recent events impacting the deep in landscape, we want to reassure a community that safeguarding your data and privacy is our utmost priority. We, main we maintain strict protocols to ensure transparency, integrity, resilience in the face of potential threats. We want to emphasize that we have no affili uh, affiliations with any entities involved in compromising security measures. Since our inception, we've dedicated ourselves to fortifying our systems and processes to withstand any challenges that may arise. And they are attending Token 2049 uh, today. They've had an AMA earlier and uh and so on okay i'm not sure what this is upset claim what's upset claim um uh oh by the way guys be careful of scams okay guys because you know if you're new to crypto and you come in you might see something like this right and you'll click on it and you end up getting scammed this is not upset this is a scam okay so you know be careful when you click in links you can tell it's a scam because they don't have the blue tick it's not upset cloud it's spelled differently it's O-P-S-E-E -E cloud instead of Opset cloud. So just be careful when you're clicking on links because it will drain your wallet and just, you know, if you thought a dip, uh, a dip like this has destroyed, uh, you know, your bull run gains, right? You know, you know, something like that, clicking on a link like that, right? And getting literally scammed, getting your wallet drained. That that's definitely, that will definitely destroy your, your bull run. Okay, guys, so just be careful. Um, so they had a spaces, all right, guys, and their team is growing. Their team is growing. Doxed members, all fully doxed, and with previous history in, you know, Nvidia and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so they've got strong advisors, a strong team. Um, they're building a very strong network uh, with OPSEC. Okay, guys, not to mention uh, again, you know, they're going to be a layer one OPSEC computer, and um, you know, I, I think that this has a great future. They partnered also with Hash AI. One of the larger AI projects out there as well, and um, you know the list goes on. The list goes on. Okay, guys. Deep in AI, the list goes on. Okay, guys. So um, ultimately, I'm not worried um, about OPSEC. I'm not worried about Blender. Let's just do a quick review on Blender. So Blender probably going to see some more downside as well. Seeing a 75 million. Okay, 
And, you know, ultimately it had this huge run. But it needs that breathing space. It needs a dip. A dip was needed. Now, obviously, you know, we'd rather not have any dips in crypto, right? We'd rather just go all the way to the moon. But, you know, that's just not the way that these things work. We have to literally stomach the pullbacks. But if you've got strong conviction in a project, right? You believe that it's going to, you believe in the team, you believe in the vision that it's going to do well, right? Um, ultimately, you know, it's, you know, there's nothing gonna gonna really move you from you know your original, you know your plan of holding, right? But um, Blender, like now, so just like I compare Opsec with uh, Matic or Polygon, right? Not, not that it's anything the same, right? It's completely different. Now Blender, I compare with Render, okay, guys, because you know Blender is GPU rendering, uh, you know it's a decentralized GPU network, um, it's deep in all that sort of stuff okay guys so in terms of ai you know just a completely different project with opsec is gpu rendering as well so obviously when you look at blender and the narrative for blender like blender's huge right blender's i think it's well let's see where the market cap is now after after the uh after the pullback okay let's go and check out render um so let's see what the market cap is for render uh, render is currently at a three billion market cap, okay, and that's after the market dip. Um, I've probably got too many things open. I've got so many windows open, even behind this window. Um, let's just close, close a few things. Uh, in fact, let's just have a look. So. It's currently at eight dollars. Um, it's down from thirteen dollars. Okay, so that's put. Render's been putting in new all-time highs. Now Blender is obviously <laughs> a lot lower in market cap at seventy-four million. Right, there's no comparison right now in terms of you know being a competitor. Right, but if Blender Network continues building and growing, right. There's no reason why we can't see it in the multiple hundreds of millions and possibly even the billions when you look at the, you know, the, the potential of render and where render is now, where render's been and where render's potentially going, right? Multiples of billions. Obviously, render has partnership with Disney, it has partnerships with Apple, it has partnerships with, you know, some behemoths just in the real world, right? Um, but Blender's basically brand new, okay? Blender's literally been out for almost, not even two months at the time of recording this video. But, you know, ultimately, imagine getting into Render right at the beginning, right? Over in uh, 2020, right? You know, in the first month, you know, the, the potential is huge, guys. You know, so if, if Blender can do anything like Render, not that I'm saying it, that it will, but there's speculation that it can and that it will, right? Even in its first run, right? Where was it? In terms of market cap, right? Let's 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 see where Blender went from a you know from the tens of millions in market cap, right? So tens of millions in market cap in its first run, it went to approximately two hundred and eighty-three million, right? Had a pullback. Okay, so let's say we're in this phase for render uh sorry not render blender right and then where did it go after that on the next leg up it went all the way to a 1.2 billion dollar market cap okay guys so with blender where did it go it went to approximately you know about 160 170 million dollar market cap possibly i think so anyway right it's pulled back so on the next one just imagine this went to you know it's like a 15, 20x to a $1 billion market cap. That would be absolutely wonderful, wouldn't it? Just in its first run. Okay, guys. Obviously, then it went through a bear market. And now, where do we see it? We see it ranging, you know, it went to actual, it went to an actual, let's have a look, like a four, $5 billion market cap. All right, guys. So, that's basically what I'm looking at. What, why I'm not worried about these tokens because it's in the earliest stages I mean, these projects are literally a couple of months old. All right, guys. So, for me, I'm bullish 
okay i did manage to you know put in a nice trade on blender and catch this bounce and take some profit so you know ultimately i've made money okay um or i made extra blender tokens which i was able to sell for profit but i still have my original bag of blender i still have my original bag of opsec um and you know i'm bullish for where this goes in the short term the mid term and the long term again with the bitcoin spot etf the, e the ethereum etf okay we have a huge altcoin uh season with the, the you know bitcoin dominance and so on we have a huge altcoin season ahead of us and you know these are both ai deep in projects and we have a huge ai bull run ahead of us we haven't seen nothing yet in my opinion right so you know ultimately i'm bullish on the market there are a bunch of other projects that we could talk about you know if you look at the strong projects the, the way they're bouncing right uh, node ai gpu for example this, this was all second opportunities to pick up some of these tokens right at a cheap so many people i mean clearly you can see many people have seen it as an opportunity and how do you look at it do you look at it like you just got wrecked or do you see it as an opportunity okay not everyone's got dry powder some of us are fully deployed into the market anyway so you know ultimately you you're, this is where your training skills comes in you know do, did you sell on the way down and then buy back and get more tokens you know like, like that those are strategies that you can use but it is super risky obviously the safest strategy is to just hold when something like this happens right as someone argued that sell when something like this happens no in a bear market yes but in a bull market you, you hold through the dips okay and it's not financial advice okay and many people will have different strategies I, I, I understand that as well but ultimately i am bullish on this narrative i'm bullish on these projects and i think that we go far uh, during this bull run we've experienced a dip so in my opinion it's max pain yes normally you get a bounce and then it rolls back over and then what we see is some sideways and then we start to grind back up slowly it's not going to go straight back to all-time high overnight okay we're not going to see a v-shaped recovery unfortunately uh you, you could you, you it could happen right but ultimately you know what we do is we find support we find strength on the chart and um, ultimately we begin ranging and before you know it it you know you can zoom out and it just looks like nothing like a big you know sideways accumulation right and then you get a big breakout okay guys so hopefully that's what we see and that's the way i'm looking at the market um let me know what you think in the comments and that's really all i've got for you in this video guys subscribe to the channel tick the little bell for notifications like the video comment down below and i'll see you in the next one